Well, this is Mr. Roman. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use the laser to cut out your own ruler. So we're going to be drawing it and cutting it out. Start by going to Canvas, go to your Design and Manufacturing class, head to the Laser Manufacturing section, and it'll open up the Laser Cut Ruler Project. Okay, open up that project, and it's a step one download. Um, the template file and open up Corel Draw software. So click on that link that you have there and download it. Okay, you'll see it show up in your downloads folder down at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and open that. Okay, and let that open up. You'll probably get this window to show up. You can you don't need that, so just have it. Don't show it again. And close it. And let the program open up. Okay, and you can see that I've already done some of the work for you. Uh, so just so you know what you're looking at on this this page here, that big rectangle, the white paper there, that's actually the size of the laser. Okay, so you have the amount of space inside the red line. That red line is actually a cutting line. The laser will cut through the board along that line for you. I've got that done. Um, I've got some other black numbers and letters, We've got the Saber logo, and the blue lines, those blue dashed lines, are actually guidelines. The laser does not read those. Those are there uh, to help you to space out all of your, your lines on your ruler in the correct spot. You're going to want to refer to the ruler up above that the cursor is pointing at there and use that to help you to find the right spot. We'll be using the two-pointed line command, which is located under the freehand line menu. Okay, I would start off with the half inch mark right in the middle. Click and drag, holding down your left mouse button, drag that down a ways, and then use this field right here, type that in as 0.5. It'll draw it correctly. So if it's a half inch you're drawing, make it a half inch long. Use the pick tool and grab the node right there and drag the node right to the edge of your ruler and the red line so you should see that should line up right there at that intersection perfectly okay you can repeat that concept here for all these upcoming lines next up let's split the half and half and do our fourths group okay draw a line drag that down type in 0.25 hit enter and, and again use the pick tool to select and grab the node and drag that to the edge. You could draw the three quarters line if you want, that'd be fine, but you might as well use copy and paste. So I would at this point hit Control C and then Control V. It copies and pastes it. It pastes it right on top of itself, so there's actually two copies of that line right in that same space. Just grab one off there by the middle X, drag that over, and grab the node on the very end. Okay, and put that into place. So you got your quarters, one quarter and three quarters of an inch marked. Okay, moving on to the eighth group. Okay, you can see those marks up above. Those will help you. <clears throat> Click and drag. And an eighth of an inch is 0.125. And use the pick tool again, drag the node into place, and we're gonna do some more copying and pasting at this point. So control C, control V, drag it, grab the node, do it again. Control C, control V. Okay, zoom in there, make sure you've got it right on the intersection. And again, so there's your eighths, there should be four of those lines. And finally, your sixteenths. If you're not real sure about what these decimal forms are, you can pull up the calculator and type one divided by 16. And that will tell you um, what your decimal form is. Okay, so here comes the calculator. One divided by 16 is 0 0.0625. So that would be the length that you would draw in or type in right there okay, and hit enter okay, and drag and move that right to the intersection 
it helps to zoom in when you're trying to drag things and get them on exact locations. Okay, now here comes the copy and paste again. All right, there should be several sixteenths that you should do. One sixteenth, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. That would be eight of these lines. Okay, there's thirteen sixteenths and fifteen sixteenths. Okay, next up I would draw the, the inch mark, one inch long, right across that blue line. Now we'll draw the one inch line. That one inch line should be one inch long. Right, use the pick tool and drag that into place. Okay, and finally, you can copy and paste everything by selecting the whole group. And I would grab that by the top end of the one inch mark. You can set it on the next mark two inches. That should be exactly right. Now I'm going to select both inches, copy and paste, grab them by the corner, drag it over to four. Again, Okay, and one last copy and paste. And you've got them all. Okay, make sure you're exactly on those intersections. Zoom in and make sure of that. Okay, finally, if you want to double click on the replace this text with your name comment, you can certainly type in your own name there. Please do that. And I'm going to give you some white space over there on the left hand side between inches one and two. Feel free to put a logo of your choice. Uh, over there if you'd like. Okay, so you can customize it as your own. Okay, but the Shockby Tech Ed and the, the Sabre logo, those will remain. Those are locked in there. Okay, and the last thing to do is to save it into a location that I can get it from so I can laser it for you. So you need to go to Save As, go to your go to the computer, all the way down to Student Share K Drive, East Junior High, Tech Ed, look for Omen, and whatever your hour is. So this semester it happens to be sixth hour. Do a save as. Okay, so for me it'd be Omen uh, Ruler Project. Uh, if your last name is Anderson, I get Anderson ruler project okay and hit save and if it's in that folder i will find it and i can laser that out for you okay and that is it